Hello, 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 and happy Freedom Friday to all my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. All right, this reading is dated for the 12th of May through the 12th of June, right? Maybe still Thursday in some parts of the world, but in some parts of the world, it is already Friday. Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say, Sagittarius, and let's see... All right, Knight of Cups, we also have the Ace of Cups. We also have the Wheel of Fortune here. We also have the Death Rebirth card. We also have the Five of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Wands. And then we also have the Knight of of wands. Okay, this is very nice. So congratulations to whoever whoever is moving. Somebody could be physically moving from one space to another. Um, but for certain, you're definitely moving on from something that has been a lot of baggage. Keep in mind, Sagittarius, that Pluto is retrograde until October 10th. Uh, and then Mercury is retrograde, I believe, until the 14th. So messages are still coming up in your spirit about what to move on from. Sources giving you some time. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune and also the Death Rebirth card. So sources saying, I'm giving you some time to move on from something that was emotionally draining for you. Could have been some toxic emotions. When we think about death, then a lot of toxicity can come out of that. Memories, past friendships, um, romantic relationships, jobs, those kind of things. So sources giving you some time to um, move on from something, right? And it could have been something where... It could have been a romantic relationship that your heart was broken or that you felt like something was compromised to some degree, or it could have been a friendship or something that you loved, something that was, cre you know, where your emotions, your soul, your sacral chakra was involved. The source is saying to you, you can flush all of those things out, calm that fire down a bit, especially if you feel like it, it hit something that at your root chakra and in insecurity and in is something that caused you to be un unstable. Somebody could have caused you to lose some money. Um, if it, if it, if you felt like it was some kind of disloyalty involved, I'm talking about root chakra stuff, disloyalty, um, or it, it compromised loyalty. Let's say if it compromised your security, your stability, your uh, loyalty, it compromised your patience, it compromised your career success, your prosperity. Somebody could have been emotionally drained. You know, like, wow, I put in so much time and effort in this and I could have been doing X, Y, and Z. So it's just saying I'm sending new money across your path and I'm giving you some time to move on from something and really, really see this drum right here where a person is like beating away the negativity in your own universe, right? Music is incredibly powerful for releasing energy because it's those, the vibrations are going through your ear gate and eye gate in some cases, if you're going to see a concert, and you're around other energies and that gives you an opportunity for whatever length of time that concert was or whatever to get away, you know, emotionally get away from something. So congratulations to you all, like I said, for putting in all of that hard work and protecting your energy. And like I said before, God is giving you some time to deal with something that's over and moving on from something and teaching somebody the only person that can save you is you if you're waiting for somebody to save you that's why people go and run to and fro talking to family members friends trying to get people you know to to validate how you feel you don't need another human being to validate how you feel your feelings are valid your feelings are valid and the sooner you come to that that you know uh understanding that your feelings are valid, Sagittarius, the less you'll run to and fro trying to tell, you know, trying to explain to people why you feel a certain way. All you know is how you feel, right? Here we have the Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight of Wands came out uh, twice. We have Coexist. We have Queen of Cups. We have so Three of Cups. We also have the Temptations card and also the King of Swords. So Coexist. The first energy you want to coexist with is yourself, Right? Pull your birth chart, please. Find out what sets you apart from other Sagittarius so that you'll know, so you don't feel like when somebody says, I don't like Sagittarius or do I, that I do like Sagittarius. However, you're taking it all with a grain of salt. If they're saying, I don't like Sagittarius, remember, even if they had the same exact birthday, could they could have been born somewhere else in a different country, a different part of the world where it throws the birth chart off a lot, you know, uh, not out of alignment. It, it would make your birth chart different from theirs. You may have the same sun sign and that's it. They could have a lot of, 
divine and they could have a lot of feminine placements in their chart but you could have a lot of masculine placement in your chart bottom line is i see you learning how to coexist with yourself first so that way so you'll know exactly what sets you apart from other Sagittarius. Remember, there could be two situations in particular that source is saying just physically get away from any negative, low vibrating thoughts of woe is me. They burn me so bad. They they messed up my money. They did. Source is saying to you, get away from those thoughts because those thoughts are giving air to your fire and it's causing you to think treacherous thoughts for some of you, you know, like really, really low vibrational thoughts that will come across as you being the person obsessed. It has such an, an adverse effect, you know, in our lives. And so source is saying, if you'd like to get out and celebrate dance, you know, get out and just be grateful that, Hey, you know what? I, I'm entertained for a couple of hours. I feel good doing what I'm doing. Or just that movement is also like the, like I said before, just as equivalent to this drum beat. Maybe you like to dance. Maybe you like to, um, you know, dance in your house or go out dancing or whatever the case may be, just feeling good about life. Here we have the tempter. That would be the devil, right? Temptations, the devil trying to tempt you to talk about it, to think about it, to engage, whatever, give life to it, air to it. And so sources like, you don't have to do all of that. All you have to do is be wise enough. You're knowledgeable enough. You have enough knowledge about a situation to move on from it. And then we have the queen of cups. You have enough compassion in your water you know you're a a fire sign but you know exactly how to be compassionate to say you know i can move on from this that's the beautiful thing about you being a mutable sign is that you can adapt easier than some of the other signs some of the other signs could feel like i can't adapt to certain situations and i'm just going to keep feeling this way until i'm forced to feel another way and so yeah let's see what else we got going on here Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Wands. Like I said in the beginning, somebody is moving on from something and somebody could possibly be moving. So there could be some kind of an approval for a new house, a new apartment, a new something coming your way. So congratulations in advance. You know, um, just being in a new space, you don't want to bring any negative energy with you. Some people pack up everything from one space to the next. They don't throw away papers. They don't throw away ketchup packets. They don't throw away plastic forks and spoons. I, I need all of this stuff, just hoarding stuff. So you got to look at yourself as like, okay, why are there blockages in my life if I'm hoarding all of this other stuff? Do I really need all of this? Probably not. Probably not. I'm hoarding the bad memories. I'm just... And so the, the, the lunar eclipse that we had gave everybody an opportunity to even go back to your childhood, your ancestral line, your family line to, to bring to the surface in conjunction with Mercury being retrograde, any toxic um, traumas, anything that was so traumatic for you, now you're going to be able to tie in that to your relationships outside of your blood relatives. So that's why you see in multiple streams of income, sources trying to inspire somebody to create an additional stream of income, you know, coming across your path. And like I said, there are some people who you are heavy on their mind, but there's also somebody has new love coming across their mind that, I mean, coming across your path, which for you, it may surprise you like, wow, this person is interested in me. Why wouldn't they be? You are you, right? You're, you're a special Sagittarius. So I do see somebody remaining happy and charismatic and free. Because you are doing the work that you need to do to protect your inner child and protect your peace. Here we have the Ten of Cups. So this is nice. This is very, very nice, Sagittarius. Like I said, you know, Happy Freedom Friday. You are freeing yourselves from this bondage of feeling like somebody manipulated me and somebody did. If they did, they manipulated themselves right out of your life, right? Again, it's your universe. You have to decide if you really feel that strongly about it, instead of thinking, I got to get this person back or when they call or text me, or if I happen to see this person, I got to say this. You don't need to say anything. They manipulated themselves from all access from you. So here we have the King of Swords. Like I said before, you can take your sword and say, I can cut out the overthinking about the situation. Let's get ready to close it out again. Happy Freedom Friday. Happy Freedom Friday to all of my Sagittarius. Happy Freedom Friday to you. There we go. Number one, I am innovative. So you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success. Yeah. 
number one is your card. Here is your, um, here is a, uh, yeah, let's see what else we got going on here. Burning bowl. You remember you all are a fire sign. You cleanse by fire. I'm getting rid of all negative, all negative thoughts. So when Source is saying with the Knight of Wands here, in order for you to remain happy, charismatic, and free, you got to get even get rid of the negative thoughts when they come up about certain things. That person is a master manipulator. I'm talking about this energy, all of that. Source is like, toss all of that into a burning bowl. Toss their name into a burning bowl. I release all of this in love. Even if I feel this way about somebody, I release it in love. Release it. Release it, release it, release it in love so that you can make room for the blessings right in your face and more blessings that source is trying to send your way. More blessings that source is trying to send your way. So many people give inter interviews and talk interviews, whether you're a celebrity or not, talking to people, giving people all of this information. If somebody is not in your life anymore, move on, move on from it. Go sit down and talk to a therapist. If emotionally, if emotionally you feel blocked, and you feel like, okay, the sacral chakra music isn't working. The throat chakra music isn't working. The full cleansing of all of my chakras aren't working. You got to, that has to be a, a, that has to be routine. That has to become a ritual for somebody. Like, you know, I'm doing this every night. I'm listening to something that's going to flush out the day. Cause I, not only am I trying to flush out the toxins in my own spirit through juice fast and drinking more water and sweating it out and I need to get all of this out of my system. And if it's still not coming out, like if I'm, if it's still something like lodged in my system where I feel like, okay, I haven't released it in, you know, in any way, shape, form or fashion, then I need to do, I need to make it a daily, a part of my daily routine, a part of my daily routine. So here we have a fiery climax approaches. A fiery climax approach is you could have Aries somewhere in your chart, or it could be a fiery climax within Aries. You know, Aries and you are fire signs. And bottom line is that you don't have to be in your own personal hell like the enemy would like for you to be in your own personal hell. The enemy would love for you to coexist with it. But if you're going to, you got to learn how to put those demons under submission. Our flesh would be like, um, you know, that in your carnal mind or feeling like I can't overcome any obstacles from the past, or I'm too ashamed or embarrassed or whatever happened in the past. Source is giving you an opportunity to operate in faith and free yourself. You are, you are wise. So affirmations for wisdom. I am a lifelong learner. I listen more than I speak. I listen to understand, not to reply. I, divine wisdom flows freely into my life. I make wise decisions. I am prudent. I am patient. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.